Welcome back to my channel. This morning, I am spending my morning at the Sadmore Pendry. The Sadmore Pendry is a hotel here in Baltimore. It is a luxurious hotel. It is in the Fells Point area of um, Baltimore. And this hotel is actually built on the water. Like, it has amazing views. Currently, I'm in a king-size deluxe harbor view room. I think that's the name of it. This room costs about $3.50 a night. And I guess this is the off season, which is why it's so cheap, because I'm pretty sure some seasons it's higher than what it is, because I have looked at the price. Let me tell you, I wanted, I have been wanting to stay at this hotel ever since it opened, but I never had the opportunity. And over the past few months, I've been just looking, looking, checking out the prices. And sometimes the range can be upwards of 500 a night. So that definitely is not in my budget. So for Valentine's Day, I decided, you know what, I'm going to book a room and spend the night here. So I spent the night here last night. I'll show you some pictures of that. You'll see videos of that towards the end. I had room service, and this morning I woke up and I said, you know what, being that this room is so nice, let me go ahead and try to film some content here before I roll out. I am actually supposed to check out at noon, but I did talk to the people at the front desk, and they are allowing me to uh, stay until 1 o'clock. I was hoping they would have said at least 3, but they were like, no, we only do complimentary um, late checkouts. Um, we give people till 1 o'clock. Anyway, today I'm going to go over with you some of the things that I pack with me whenever I spend the night outside so of my with home. me, I have my product bag. My, this is where I pack all of the items that I need for my skincare, for my body, my deodorant, so on and so forth. So this is the bag I pack everything in. I actually got it from Target a few months ago, and I really like the design, and I love the print of it. So this is what I put all my stuff in, and it's pretty good. It holds almost just about everything that I need and that I take with me. So one of the first items that I pack whenever I stay at a hotel is obviously my toothpaste because hospi hospitals, sorry, you guys know I'm a nurse, right? I meant hotels do not provide you with toothpaste. So I always bring my toothpaste and this is the brand that I use, Arm & Hammer. I've been using Arm & Hammer for like the past, who knows, maybe all my life because this is one product and brand that my mom has always invested in laundry detergent toothpaste so I love Arm & Hammer it has that baking soda which gives me a nice clean finished feel once I brush my teeth so yep always got my Arm & Hammer uh, toothpaste with me then next on the list obviously is my deodorant and I use Dove right now I'm using this Dove zero percent al aluminum I'm trying to incorporate more non-toxic products into my skincare and body care routine because I don't want to be absorbing all of that like the cancer rates are just way too high and there's too much speculation about whether or not some of the cancers which women are developing comes from a lot of the products that we use so this is the zero percent aluminum I love this product I love this deodorant it's sheer but shea butter scent made by Dove it smells really good another thing that I bring with me every time I'm out of the home is my night cream and this is by the brand Fresh. It is the Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream. Let me tell you something. This right here, nighttime, you wash your face, you put it on, you're glowing when you go to bed, and you're glowing when you wake up. Like, I absolutely adore this nighttime skin cream. Another thing that I take with me is my eye cream. Currently, I'm using the, um, the Ink Key. This is sold at Sephora, and it is the Caffeine Eye Cream. After I put do my face routine, I wash it, put my moisturizer on. I usually slather it all over both eyes, underneath, around my eye area, just to give me that nice, bright, fresh look when I wake up in the morning time. I also take with me this cream right here. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this before, especially if you shop quite a bit at Sephora. This one is the... It's not the original. This is, you know, there's the Bum Bum Cream, the one that comes in the yellow container. But I decided to go with the Bum Dia Bright Cream. That's what it's called. And um, I've been hearing people rave about this product. And to be honest with you, the reason why I like this product is because it smells so darn good. And the smell actually lasts for a very long time. It is not that great of a moisturizer. I'll be very honest with you. Like, I can take a shower slather my body in it wake up and my skin is kind of ashy to say the least so this really is for the smell it just puts me in a really good mood and i fall asleep really easily and my significant other loves the smell of this so that's one reason why i love um i love this cream and i take it with me wherever i go 
As far as my face goes, currently right now I am using a line that's sold only in Sephora and the brand is called Pharmacy. It is basically one of those clean, non-toxic skincare brands and I have, I actually, instead of purchasing the items individually, I actually, actually purchased a kit from Sephora a few weeks ago. And this is what I've been using on my face. And I do see the difference. I feel like my skin has become smoother. And I feel like my complexion is a little bit brighter. Like, I don't know if it's, I don't know. I really do think it's the pharmacy products, to be honest with you. So what I do have here, I do have... The pharmacy green clean makeup remover I don't use this one every single day simply because I don't wear a full face of makeup every single day so I don't need to really use this I'll just wash my face with either my Ole Henriksen face wash or maybe my fresh uh, soy face wash but if I'm wearing makeup or even if I put on tinted moisturizer like I'm wearing right now I'll go ahead and I'll use this green green clean makeup melt away the other thing I've been using from the pharmacy line is their deep sweep toner i use this morning and i use it in the nighttime it's supposed to help make your skin look brighter and minimize your pores and i think it has been definitely working for me the other thing that i have that i am loving from this line is the pharmacy honey halo this moisturizer is intense like you don't even need a lot of it just a little bit and smooth it all over your face and it's so rich it's creamy it just gives me this nice glow and this is why I think my skin has been feeling so fabulous over the past few weeks since using this product another thing that I have from this line is the honey portion face mask I haven't used this too often I should actually be using it twice a week because that is what is recommended so you're supposed to put a generous layer on your face and when you put it on it actually heats up and even though it looks yellow in the bottle, once you apply it onto your face, it becomes white and it becomes like it's activated and you get like this heat sensation and you leave it on for a few minutes and then after you rinse it off. So I've only used this a few times. I need to start incorporating it a little bit more. Another thing that I always bring with me when I'm not at home is I always have to bring lip balm because I wear it at night and then I put some on in the morning after I brush my teeth when I wake up. Currently right now I am using the Tatcha, the Kisu Lip Mask. It makes my lips feel amazing. I actually have it on right now. I decided not to wear um, any lipstick to film. So this is the Tatcha uh, Lip Kisu Mask that I'm currently wearing right now. So these are the items that I must have with me whenever I spend the night outside of my home. What items do you guys carry in your bag? Now, if you like my channel, you find any of my topics interesting, please like, subscribe, and leave me a comment, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so for watching. So this is the entrance. You walk in, and there's this really nice mirror. And the view is amazing. It's basically all of the harbor. Well, most of it, not all of it. On the Fells Point side. Don't mind that, that's from last night.